Online speculation has been rampant about Prince Harry's supposed role in a recently filed $30 million civil lawsuit. The plaintiff, music producer Rodney Jones, is suing popular rapper Sean Diddy Combs. Combs is accused by Jones of participating in multiple illegal activities at the parties he often hosted and attended, including human trafficking. According to the 73-page civil lawsuit filed under Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, RICO, attending Combs' infamous gatherings granted one access to famous personalities while legitimizing any shady dealings. Among those celebrities mentioned was Prince Harry, whom Jones claims would have been reachable through these events. Prince Harry's inclusion in the lawsuit drew considerable online interest as numerous individuals distributed the file and pondered about his potential involvement or culpability regarding alleged criminal activities. Nevertheless, it is important to clarify that Prince Harry has not been accused of any misconduct by the lawsuit. The suit only makes reference to him attending a party hosted by Combs back in 2007 where other well-known personalities were also present such as artists, athletes, and even his own brother William. Although the allegations against Combs are worthy of investigation due to their gravity, legal professionals emphasize that Prince Harry is in no way involved with the lawsuit. To provide insight and elucidate matters related to such cases, a lawyer familiar with them was hired. As per this juridical point of view, attending only one party over 15 years ago is the sole connection between Prince Harry's presence and relevance. Despite being captured by cameras at the gathering, there exists no indication suggesting that he had any role or knowledge regarding purported criminal activities. The attorney clarifies that Jones' civil lawsuit was aimed at obtaining financial compensation and not intended to press criminal charges. Additionally, he reveals that the case has already been dropped by Jones himself, which casts doubt on certain claims presented in his filing. It is likely that if some parts of Jones' narrative have already been debunked, it undermines the strength of his argument and may explain why he decided to withdraw legal action. According to other lawyers who have examined the complaint, it appears as though all possible allegations are included in a kitchen sink approach without sufficient evidence for each claim. The widely speculative notions about Prince Harry seem entirely unfounded since no concrete evidence links him directly with any criminal plots or activities. Despite attending events alongside others implicated of misconduct, being in close proximity is not proof of guilt by itself. Due to the litigious nature of today's society, individuals in the public and must exercise extreme caution when engaging with others in order to avoid unfounded accusations. Nevertheless, attending a party on his own over 15 years ago does not and should not link Prince Harry with any serious allegations without additional corroborating evidence. The legal professional emphasized that there is no indication thus far within this terminated civil lawsuit that points towards any misconduct committed by Harry. Homeland Security conducted raids related to the case, indicating that an investigation into Combs' allegations is necessary. Nonetheless, being named in the lawsuit does not automatically attribute responsibility or legal exposure on individuals like Prince Harry without direct involvement established. Going forward, it's essential to focus on Jones' credibility and examine the validity of his accusations against Combs rather than indulge in sensational speculation regarding peripheral figures who have not been accused of any criminal activity. Considering Prince Harry's well-known public figure status, it is understandable why online attention has fixated on him. However, thorough legal analysis indicates that he was wrongly implicated in the dismissed civil case due to non-credible allegations with no evidence to support claims of any conspiracy or criminal activity. Therefore, both sides of this issue must be presented so as not to hastily reach false conclusions that may prove unfair and unfounded. If substantial information emerges directly connecting Prince Harry with legal matters, then consideration would be warranted, but currently nothing put forth meets even the barest standards for plausible blame. It is only through fact-based assessments rooted in credibility that serious accusations can determine their impact or warrant a response, never mere speculation alone. To put it simply, Prince Harry's name being mentioned in a civil lawsuit that was dismissed against Sean Combs should not be seen as an accusation or implication of any wrongdoing on his part given the available information. 
Even though there is still speculation online, legal experts highlight that attending a party over 15 years ago can't serve as evidence for allegations without substantiated support. The focus should instead lie on examining the credibility and details of accusations leveled against Combs by verifiable sources rather than sensationalized rumors regarding Harry who just happened to be at one celebrity event long ago.